I need to cut some uh, 16 gauge steel to uh, fill in the ends of the frame and uh, fill in where I cut the uh, angle there on the front. So uh, I have to cut six pieces, uh, one inch by three inches, two pieces, one by two, and two pieces, one by 17 and seven eighths. So I'm going to do that now. I've got a piece of 16 gauge steel here, a little wooden fence set up at one inch, and I'm just going to rip a couple pieces. Too hard to eyeball. I need. Uh, okay, so I need uh, six pieces, three inches. Two pieces. 
So I'll just deburr these a little bit so they feel smooth. So here's one of the uh, frame rails. Here's a piece of steel that I cut. So that lays on there pretty good. So I'll tack that on, weld it around, grind it down. Look like one piece of steel when you're done. So I have to do that. I got six ends, six ends to cover up. Actually eight. And then, uh, then these strips right here I've got to weld on. So it's a lot of welding along an edge. It won't be pretty, but I, I'll get it done. Okay. All right, I'm going to tack this up and see if I can keep from making a complete mess of it. on there. I'll, tell, I'll weld it all the way around so I can grind it. There it is all welded up. Not too bad I guess considering I'm a rank amateur. But that'll grind up nice and it'll look clean when it's done. Alright, five more to go. So everything's a little bit of trial and error so on, on this one I cut this piece just a little bit smaller all the way around. I just uh, ground it down a little bit so that I can weld down on it instead of sideways. I think I can control it better that way. Okay, let's see if this one turns out better. This one turned out a lot better. So uh, that technique is a winner. Alright, looks like the heat is good and the bead is decent and I got it all. All right, see if we can get better each time we do it. Well, I've been busy grinding away, so uh, things are looking up. Got all the ends boxed in. And uh, I welded in the steel under here. So that's all in place now. Yeah, so I'm going to mock this thing up one time to see how it looks. All right, next thing would be putting in the cross braces. It's going to be a little bit of setup time to get that, but let's see how it looks in the mock-up. Well, 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 things are looking up. So it's just all held together with magnets. Everything's boxed in. Yeah, I'm liking this. And then I got this all... Weld it up down here. So, if I can just keep it nice and straight and true while I weld it, uh, everything should be fine. So, next order of business is to create a setup for clamping this down and welding it. I got an idea. I'm going to go about it. So, I'll start going in that direction. Yeah. Before I weld this all up, I've got to uh, drill the holes for these, these bearings. So, I centered it up, got it centered, I'm going to put it on the drill press there and punch it out.
and now I'll get it set up in here. Okay, let's set these up and drill them. so good. Yep. That'll fly. So I'm going to cut some little uh, tubes to put in here so when I tighten the bolts it won't crush the this, this stock. So uh, one thing I do uh, is I put a little tube inside here so that when I bolt this together it doesn't crush the rectangle tube. So um, I had a piece of uh, 5 8 square stock here, 5 8 by 5 8 I'd also used half inch round before, anything that the bolt will go through. Um, and then I, I cut them so they're just, they go in there tight so that I have to kind of tap them in and wedge them. That way they don't fall out later. Um, so uh, the way these go together is uh, that goes in there like that, then the bearing, then the other half, and then the bolt. So now I can torque these down and this won't crush. That'll, that'll be nice and stuff. So the beauty of these bearings, if I can get a hold of it here, is if I can show you, this articulates. So, you know, this is curved and, uh, you know, when, when you go to put this together, you leave this, these two halves kind of loose so that this will kind of float. Then once you get the, bar the axle in there, it'll find its center. In this scenario, it's so uh, probably about like, like that. So, this is a cool little bearing. Because uh, once you leave that, as long as you leave that loose and you get the axle in there, then this will find center. And people will look at that, how you put a straight axle through a curved frame or, or a tapered frame. And they'll think you're a freaking hero or a mastermind of mechanics. But <laughs> that's a pretty cool little deal. So, there we go. I think I have everything done so I can actually weld. I had to get these taken care of. Uh, so, um... I think welding is next. All right. I've been cleaning up the workshop out here so I could uh, do a setup for welding this frame. So um, I took uh, three saw horses, a piece of particle board, and I put the uh, my drawing on the top of it. 
and I have some C clamps here, and uh, my concept is, uh, how I'm gonna hold this down is, I drilled a hole through everything here, and then I'm gonna use six clamps, one on each end, and then I'll have a clamp here, and on the other side, same thing up there, and then I've got a couple of bar clamps uh, that I'll use across here to draw this tight. So that should work out and then it'll stay put while I tack it up and get it welded. Well I've been working on this thing and it's uh, been a bit of a challenge. I'm not there yet. Um, had to get out the jigsaw and a hole saw and a couple more clamps. So in a minute here I'll have it all done and then I'll show you what uh, show you how it come out. I believe the time has come to start welding. I got it all clamped down, pretty much ready to go. Um, took me a little longer than I thought, and I used uh, just about every clamp that I had. Uh, but uh, you know, I, I, when I, uh, these frame pieces here, these curved ones, these, uh, they got a little bit twisted when, you know, when they were radius. So that meant there was a gap down here I had to draw up tight and then there was a gap here so that's why this uh, bar clamp is at an angle and I added these other clamps here to uh, help hold the the bar clamp in place because with this tapered frame it wants to slip off as you tighten it the C clamps hold the frame on the lines and the bar clamps draw the frame tight together so it's a similar arrangement. You can see where I had the jigsaw out so I could turn the handle here. And then I drilled some holes for the seat clamps so I could like grab underneath. And then I added these little shims here so it wouldn't slip off the angled part of the frame. So I'm happy with the, uh, it's rock solid. It isn't going anywhere. So, and I've got room to get in and tack it up just about everywhere. And then, uh, uh, after I finish this, I got to get the small frame done so then I can stack it on top of here and weld the two together. So I'm making progress. What do you say we do a little bit of welding here? It's as good as time as any to get going on this. Alright, let's tack it up here.
Okay, I've got this one all welded up. Uh, you know, it's not welded the best, but at least I gave it a shot. Uh, guys that weld all the time, they they just laugh at this thing, you know. But uh, you know, I'm lucky if I weld two or three times a year, so uh, I just do the best I can. And you know, if the welds break, I'll find out later. You know, they they show up, they start cracking, and I'll just reweld them then. You know, but uh, we'll see. You know, they're not terrible, but they're not good either. Uh, I slagged it up pretty good. Um, given time, I'll get better at it, but uh, in the meantime, it's better than having somebody else do it. I'd rather do my own work if I could. All right, I'm going to do the small frame now, and uh, then I'll grind them both, and then I'll clamp them together and weld them up. I'm home uh, for lunch, uh, and uh, I sat to mess around with this frame a little bit, prop it up on some jack stands, and kind of set the axle roughly in the location, just to get a sense of scale of this thing. I'm liking it. This will be fun. I'm looking forward to building this. Yeah. Um, so, uh, since I'm home here at lunch, just messing around, I thought I'd try to set up this smaller frame with the clamps. Just messing around here. So I can use, uh, these are holes from when I welded the larger frame, so I can use those here. So anyway, I'm just uh, drilling holes and getting the initial clamping established. Alright, All right, so I'm going to need one right here. Ten minutes at a time. You get I realize I need to cut the openings to turn these handles. So I gotta do that real quick. Okay, 
So I gotta tap it around, square it up, but that's the general setup. Back here, no big deal, because this is tapered the right way. I just, all I have to do is put some spacers, just tighten it up. Well, I'm home for work and I spent about a half an hour setting this thing up. <clears throat> so it's ready to weld and it's nice and solid where it sits and it's in the line. So I just got to uh, just get it all welded up. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, let's get this one welded up. Okay, well, let's see here. All right, well, it's welded. So I'll let it cool off a minute and then I'll I'm going to set it on the frame over there just to see what it looks like. I think this is starting to take on the appearance of a cycle cart. So I still have to weld these uh, two halves together. Um, but uh, I'm liking how it's coming along here. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Looks like a BMW Roadster to me.